Hey, my name is Josh, and today we're going to be going over a new feature in the Microsoft Teams client. Uh, now, uh, let me preface the new feature comment with new to me. I'm not sure if this is new or not, but I didn't see any big announcement about it. And I have been wanting this and waiting for it and looking for it for quite some time. So now that it's finally here, I'm super excited. It could be that it is, it is a fairly small thing at least seemingly, not to me, and maybe that's why there wasn't an announcement. But whatever the case is, I missed its arrival, and now that I've discovered it, I want to share it with you and briefly go, go over the experience. The experience that I'm referring to is, of course, the editing of Office documents within the Microsoft Teams application. This is super exciting to me. Uh, as you'll see, we are in the Microsoft Teams desktop client here. I've got my Teams test team, my Skype for Business team, my beer team, and underneath the Skype for Business team, we are in the general channel. Within the general channel, I have uploaded three files. We have Excel file called Excel at Teams, a Word document with a much longer name. You can see we're comparing Skype for Business with its competitors. And then the PowerPoint document here, just a testing PowerPoint file, nothing fancy. What we're going to do is open each one of these up and demonstrate how we can now edit these files within Microsoft Teams. Let's start with Excel, shall we? We open up Excel, and previously when we would click on the edit button here, we would get the option to either edit in your desktop version of Excel, if it were installed, or you'd get the edit in Excel online, which is the online browser-based version of Excel. Today, when I clicked on edit, I was just thrilled when I saw the edit in Teams button. Seriously, I have found it so aggravating when I had to open up a separate tab or a new application to edit a document that I was already viewing and looking at and chatting with people about. I did not like that. So when I clicked edit, I was thrilled to see I am staying within the Teams application. I've got my ribbon menu here. I can insert things, I can work with functions and forms and all this cool stuff that you can do with Excel, all while staying within Microsoft Teams. Very, very cool. So we can go in here, we say hello, add in our document. Now, just like Office Online, when we go to say file and save, there is no save. There's only a save as because the work you're doing is automatically being saved for you. Very cool. Let's close the Excel document and let's click on this Word document here. I'll have you know that uh, what we see in here may have been modified by myself. For example, when I click on Edit in Teams, this little section right here probably was added by me, maybe biased or not, uh, but we're not going to dive into the details about uh, comparing Skype for Business with its competitors. We're just going to leave this file as my own personal file with my own personal opinions on it. Okay, that's that's what that is. But like you can see with the Excel doc, we're still within Teams. We've got our full ribbon menu here. This is great. We click close. Now let's go to our PowerPoint. Again, it loads the PowerPoint document for us. And when we click on edit up here, we go beyond the regular viewing of the document. And we've now got our ribbon menu up here. We've got our slides on the left-hand side like we would expect to when we're editing a PowerPoint presentation. And we have not left the Teams application. I love it. At any rate, this is it. That's all I wanted to show you. That's the only thing I wanted to, uh, to present to you guys today. I know this seems really simple and small. And why am I making a video on this? Like I said, I have felt this is a, a, a big deal. I've wanted this to be present in Teams for quite some time. And now that I've discovered it finally is, I wanted to share the exciting news with you. I hope this helps some of you, and I hope that you will share the video if you found it helpful and, and informative and did not know about this yourself. So that's all I've got for today. Um, if you want other tips and tricks on Skype for Business and Teams, uh, please check out the rest of the YouTube channel here. Um, and be sure to watch the Skype for B recap if you want to stay plugged into all the news that hits those two applications. Thank you. Have a good day and adios.